Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today in this video, I'm going to share a few things about the machine. Hopefully, this video is going to be very interesting. And let's get started. So most of them are asking me about the machine that I use. I use Usha Industrial Sewing Machine. This is going to be a heavy duty machine. You can do only straight stretch with this machine. Perhaps in Usha Genome you have a different kind of stretches to be done. But in this machine you can do only straight stretch. Okay, it is a very high speed machine with an oil tank. Why it's called as an oil tank machine. So this is going to be the indication of the oil. When the oil is drained out, you won't find oil over here. The oil will splash over this point so that you can see whether the oil is in the tank or the oil has been drained out. You have a transparent cap over here. So this is a light comes for this machine. And it is a so flexible LED light. So you can just turn as you want. It just sits in exact place you turn. So I completely love this light. So most probably I'll be using this light uh, if I'm working with a very dark color fabric. I just find really difficult to find the thread line where it runs. So in that case I use this light. So these are the things I usually have in my machine. So this is the water soluble pencil. And this is a normal marking pencil from Apsara. So this is the Apsara glass marking pencil which also go for leather, glass, metal, vinyl and celluloids. Okay, but it just goes well for the fabric also, believe me. And, uh, and also I will always have my foot ready on my machine. So this is going to be the uh, zip, zipper foot. So this is going to be the right hand foot. And uh, this is going to be the left side foot. Can see. So if you are sewing the bead for this side, you are going to put this foot. And if you are sewing the bead for your right hand side, you are going to use your left hand side foot. So this foot is very thin and slim, you can see. This single foot does the work of these particular two foot. So perhaps I'm spending the money on buying two foot. You can buy this. Always don't buy a single foot. Always buy the right and left foot. That's very important. And also you're getting a gathering foot for this machine. I don't know where I kept that. It's absolutely useless. And this is the needle available. is 10 needle. Use size 14 always and um, it depends if you are sewing a net fabric you have to change the needle and also I always have the screwdriver so when I want to change the foot I will just use this so I will just show you how to change one of my foot so that will be helpful for you so can you see the black color screw over here all I will do is I just lift my foot up and lift the needle also up just came out and I'll put my foot in okay that's it it's ready to go this method goes for all your Usha pedal machine it can be Usha Juki or uh, it can be a single machine only method to remove the foot and replace the foot and if you want to replace the needle can you see a small screw over here you're going to just okay now you can see the needle came out and just leave the foot down and take another new needle and I'm going to place that in so make sure that the hole in the needle should face this side so that you find uh, you won't find any difficult while threading the needle once you fixed in the place just hold with your finger like this and I'm going to type this out don't take the screw away just unscrew it put the needle and screw that back that's going to fix the needle in okay and so I stay what I did is I just stick the 
the measuring tape on the exact corner of my machine so while sewing I just if I want to measure something I don't want to run and take my tape out I just tuck that in a very firm way hopefully you can also try this method now I show you the oil in my machine so all you have to do is you're going to push this part alone make sure you don't have anything over here it's really hard to do that you can see this is going to be the oil tank in my machine so can you see the indication of high and low so my oil is below this low mark this is the time for me to change the oil for so you can see how it looks this is going to be the small 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 tiny thread that I have uh, cut while sewing that. and that's it for now hopefully this video would be really helpful for you if you're planning to buy any oil tank machine like this believe me this is going to be a super fast and super easy for sewing I'm planning to open a new sewing channel in Tamil I really want my subscriber to subscribe the channel and uh, in my next video hopefully I'll be putting the link in the description box you can just click in the link and you can subscribe to the channel I just want your love and support for that channel also to, to continue in a better way and you can watch a bunch of different set of video in Tamil channel so I'll be uploading a video on Wednesday and stay tuned for that and don't forget to subscribe my channel so that you won't miss any of my new upcoming video see you next time take care bye bye